Okay, that was Gwen Stefani with Hello Back Girl. And now let's see what happens now. Or if Will would like, he can talk. Well, Chris, can we still do some of the play today? Yes, we can. Is this a good time? Yeah. Okay. So that's only going to be me and you here. Well, that's true, but I think we should just do what we can, because we do know that August is a time when lots of people are on holiday. Yeah. Lots of people have things they've got to do, and they might turn up and then go away and then come back again. And I think we just do what we can. Yeah. While we can. You go over it and I'll add lib. Okay. Well, the situation for new listeners, it follows on from Having a Wonderful Time. So, Having a Wonderful Time is a short story by J.G. Ballard. You can get the radio play from the Internet Archive. And it's about holiday makers who gradually discover that all the amateur dramatics and uh, creative activities that are being offered on the Canary Islands and other parts of the Mediterranean are there to absorb their energy. They're all surplus to requirement, really, and they won't be allowed back to the UK or indeed to any part of Northern Europe because uh, the forces of social control have just decided they're, they're to be left outside on their holidays indefinitely. OK. So that's, that's the general situation. And it th- occurred to me, as soon as we did a phonicon based on News from the Sun, we could have um, another basement tour based on uh, having a wonderful time in which people went down to the basement in an art centre, for example the Phoenix, and never came out again. Except obviously to do this properly you'd have to let them out otherwise it would fill up. So if they sign a non-disclosure agreement they're allowed out through a secret entrance and told to go down to the quay where they'll have a, a wonderful time doing all kinds of amateur dramatics and, through a secret entrance which we're not going to tell anybody Chris well, okay. obviously it's on radio at the moment but I mean this it's just a broad idea which may change whenever it's implemented yeah if there is a day going on and people are invited to go down into the Phoenix basement for some amateur dramatics or some print making or songwriting or whatever they might be whisked off down to the key, might they? Yeah, having signed a non-disclosure agreement that they wouldn't tell anybody where they were going. Because we've got some of the audience still left in the, in the Phoenix bar. But they'll want to send postcards. You would think, wouldn't you? And the non-disclosure agreement will prevent that. It will. It will say, well, I think you've got, to, you've got to draw things to a close at the end of the day, but I think you'd have a four or five hour period of time. Where people just disappeared. Well, as far as the people in the, in the Phoenix Bar are concerned, yes. Because uh, this is one of the things which isn't explained in the play, or only slightly. The people who you've left behind when you go on holiday and haven't come back may or may not be concerned seems to be one of the one of the topics whether this idea that people can just be absorbed into holiday mode indefinitely and nobody will notice I, yeah. think, I think it is a side issue so we've got half the audience let's say JD is left behind in the Phoenix bar he's, um, he's sitting there looking at the artwork on the walls yeah drinking his coffee eating his cake staring at his uh, tablet and uh, he, he might be quite happy, but you would think eventually you'll notice that the people who went down into the basement haven't returned. Yeah. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But that's not our immediate problem. We're, we're sitting somewhere down on the quay and we're having a conversation. Well, OK, we, we did sign this non-disclosure agreement, but should we just not bother about it and send a message to JD anyway? What do you think? Uh, yeah. I think we should send a message to JD. Um, I have to ask, have we got a herd of elephants above us? No, this is a totally soundproofed radio studio. Is it? Well, why does it sound like there's a herd of elephants upstairs? Well, perhaps there is, Chris. 
Perhaps the Phoenix Bar has got an art installation. When I went up there, there wasn't no developments then. No, but things change. OK. Anyway, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's probably enough. Um, we've got some good sound now. Yeah. So basically we've decided um, to forget about the non-disclosure agreement. We've left it two or three hours, let's say. We've finished our coffees. Yeah. We'd like to come back to the Phoenix now. So we'll find JD or send him a message. And But I'm a bit surprised he wasn't worried about us. You would and think he would have phoned us, wouldn't you, by now? Yeah, and we'll say to JD... We built this city on rock and roll. You'll appreciate that. Okay.